today make Grunorina polyphemus. We will have a uh, look what they do. I have to control them because I heard some noises down in the cellar and I thought, yeah, that must be the beef that want to come out of the little boxes. I already have some uh, pears in here. They are pretty active now. They are eating this beef jelly. Here is a nice male and female amidst this empty pickle jellies and for, for these guys and for this girl here it's time to go into the breeding box. I have prepared the breeding box like this. It's a classical setup just with uh, some flake soil on uh, filled uh, practically to the rim and here um, I compress it a little bit with a piece of bark on top and of course because they deserve it. Look at these beautiful fruits they get just that they feel comfortable inside the box. They can uh, mate and lay hopefully a lot of eggs in here. So yeah, so let's see whether we can show you this pair or whether they just run away. Because now they are very very active. Let's see whether she grip the lady grips to the male. She wants to go. I just we then send the fresh fruit on the top here, like this. So I take them and put them to this. Yes, look. Now she's not bad. She's nice here. And also I make them a nice piece of mango. That's what they like to very much show. And then Mr. Polyphemus. Let's see whether he likes it here on the... Now he wants to dive down too. So we will not see them for a while because I put a lot of jellies in here and then we wait for around two months uh, and then we see whether they laid egg, whether they still uh, leave. And of course in the meantime after about one, two weeks we can change some fruit here. That would be nice for make Grinorino for the things. But let's have a look to some other others that I have seen or heard <laughs> uh, rumbling around in this uh, 500 milliliter boxes. I think that most of them they have it closed now. So we will see what happens in here and check them through. Here you see is a purple chamber and inside I think there is a beetle. It's not moving now, but let's see in what stage it is. Could be that it's freshly emerged, so sometimes then they don't move, move around, so... Yes, let's have a look, maybe we can see something here. I think... If we open it, we can find something in here. Oh yeah, look, it's a male. It's a nice male. Of Metronorino Polyphemus. And we have this little box here. Where the others have been in. So I just put him into this box. And he can eat on the melon if he wants. Or dive down and back into the substrate a little bit because mostly when they are freshly closed they are a little bit afraid to be in the, in the light so they just dive down so that seems also that something must be in here because I don't see any purple chamber in here yeah look here it's a lady so, but she's very nice too. Now let's have a look. How did we go on the way to show what she's doing? Let's see. Yeah, I tell you, they are very shy. <laughs> and but this is a very nice one. She has a very nice shiny elytras here. You see that? And she's a lot. The color is very reddish of this lady here. Of course she wants to go away, so it's a nice color here, 
and we put that to the mail inside of this other box with the mail so if they want they can make it here and of course now I prepare a lot of um, breeding boxes I already prepared them I have around 10 22 liter boxes where I can put them and then um, we will see what the next generation is uh, doing it's already F4 now from this Mecunorino Polyfamous they are really nice beetles and they are easy to breed so that would be a good choice if you start uh, breeding beetles and if you love these uh, nice African uh, flower beetles let's have another look, one more huh? yeah, also here something in here, it's uh, this is a male, he's a little bit dirty this boy but as you know they are waterproof the beetles they are waterproof so you don't have to be afraid to wash them in a, in a water that is uh, of course uh, warm enough so that they don't get a shock from temperature but if you want you can just clean them in, in a piece of water so that they look a bit nicer than when they are full of dirt and sometimes the dirt can stick to the um, skin a little bit and you will see it here this boy is really dirty uh, he has some dirt also here on the on the on the pronotum but you can easily remove it and you don't have to be afraid if the touching the beetles uh, they have very strong um, chitin um, thing around them so they are protected like a car against shocks and so the now is clean looks a bit better now we have to prepare the boys if they want to meet the girls they should look all right so if you want to see some more of these uh, freshly emerged beetles go to the German playlist where I do exactly the same as you've seen here but with new and other beetles because I have a lot to show thanks for watching